Hey everyone, this is Lewis. Today we are going over the global sections inside of Salient. This is adding to our Salient series, uh, the fundamental slash beginner series. Um, and today we're going to go all over the footer, uh, but also na name more aptly the the global section itself. Um, so when you a good also first you need to note that the salient global sections were added in version 13 of salient and if you're not seeing them available you need to make sure to update your theme and salient plugins so uh, you need to make sure to do that now the uh, first thing that we're going to do is activate uh, change the settings in the wp uh, wp bakery settings and role manager tab because without that if you've tried to even find uh, do the global sections and manage it or edit it, you can't. So, um, Salient does a very excellent job of explaining this in his documentation, but for people that, you know, don't like to read or just didn't see it, then the first thing that you need to do is come over here by post types. It was on pages only. You need to go to custom, click on that toggle, the Salient G sections, save changes. And then after this saves, there we go. Uh, then when we go back to the global set uh, sections, you'll see we have the edit with uh, the page builder here. Now you can see that we can edit everything in this section. Uh, you know it, that the demo. If you usually if you do a demo import uh, salient. Uh, Theme Nectar, the author of Salient, in, already has preloaded footers and headers uh, and navbar styles for you to use, which is excellent. But let's say you just wanted to develop your own and start from scratch. Um, it wouldn't come with that. So where do we go for that um, if we want to build <coughs> our own footer? So let's imagine that this wasn't the demo theme. You would go to salient. So first you would actually build it. <coughs> and while we're doing that, let's just go ahead and add new. Let's just build a quick footer. And I'll just click publish. And then I'm going to go to front end to editor. And then let's go to salient templates and then we'll go to footer now of course you can also just build it yourself uh, i'm just giving you an example maybe you didn't like that footer you want to do another one in the salient templates or you want to build it yourself for sake of time i'll just do like this dark footer here okay and we have uh everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna do this I'm just going to update this. That way, it saves to this. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to do is one. This will show you how to. Do, I'm going to show you how to do global sections. So even if you don't want to use this as a footer, remember this can be used for any type of global section you want for the site. So if there's a specific CTA call to action that you want on specific um, landing pages, but you don't want to have to remake it every time. You can use uh, a global section. You can also just use a template, which are kind of one and the same in, in, in many ways. But it's still helpful to have a global section. Uh, it's very similar to like Elementor's uh, uh, template feature as well. It's just Salient has its own and making it that much more powerful. So for now, let's we just clicked on update. And then we're just going to go back to dashboard here go back to global sections and we should see a new section here the footer right um, and let's say we don't like this footer we want this one to appear we made this but how do we tell salient where where to grab it so that's where you go to salient the salient options global sections and then after page content we have this new selection called main footer which is the one we just created if we click save changes we should see it on the home page now. Go 
go all the way down. Sweet. All right. Pretty sweet. Okay. Now let's go and we'll click and edit this page. And lastly, the final trick with the global sections is, uh, um, in my opinion, a much better way to do templates because in the past you would have to like create and save different sections uh, and you would do it as a template. But now you can be a lot more precise in the way that you do it by doing a global section accordingly. So check it out. If you click on the um, add new element here, then type in GLO. You got your global section, and then now it has two awesome sections, and you can actually search for the section. So this is much better than my templates because if you have a lot of templates or you have a lot of sections, and kind of get a little cumbersome uh, and maybe a little bit hard to find, you can even edit right out of the section, which is really cool. So first, let's add. Uh, let's say I want that sailing footer back, but only on this page. So we click save, and now we have that section. Not sure what happened there. Um, let me see. Let me. Cl oh, okay. It looked like it just did a little bit of a fumble, but it's actually fine. Uh, and that's a thing sometimes with salient sometimes it's you know just got to refresh the page and you'll be good um now the now if we go back one last thing look at the global section and then click on the edit button now it automatically goes to the back end of that which is the same as the front end it's just the back end version of it right so if we went into this one, and he probably did this, linked it to the back end for speed's sake, because the, the front end can sometimes be a little bit slower, and the back end is more reliable, but more and more it's starting to be the same. So either way, it's the same, you can edit them the same. And this is a little bit quicker in terms of editing. Although the front end is getting pretty fast. So that's it. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe. Um, watch the other videos to continue your learning. And um, don't forget to comment with any questions that you may have. Uh, I'm doing the entire Salient Fundamental series, and we're going to have a fantastic time. So I hope this helps. All right.